Hi there, this is Mr. Sand, and I want to tell you uh, about how you can go from acceleration versus time graphs to velocity versus time graphs and vice versa, and um, how it's just like you go from a position versus time graph to a velocity versus time graph. Um, it's just graphing the change of one thing to another. So let's take a look right here. We've got the moving man simulation that you can download through the University of Colorado website, uh, P-H-E-T, or FET. Um, so here we've got this guy, and I'm going to put input the values right here. I'm not going to show the vector, but let's just see what happens when he's moving at a velocity, a positive velocity of 2 meters per second. So here he is. He's going to be walking across here. So he's trucking along, doing pretty good. Okay, I'm going to pause it right now, and I'm going to change the acceleration. So I'm going to say now, instead of having just zero acceleration, um, I'm going to go to, let's do four meters per second squared acceleration, see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to go backwards, I'm going to put this acceleration as a uh, zero, and he's going to turn right around, I'm going to have this as a negative velocity here, uh, let's say this is, tr let's just say five meters per second, let's see what happens, he's going around like this. I'm going to stop him again, and now this time I'm going to make the acceleration pretty big. So you're going to see him kind of take off kind of like a rocket. And you kind of go slow at the beginning, and then you go faster, 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 faster. So let's see. Let's say let's do, uh, let's do 30 meters per second squared. Let's see what this looks like. This might go crazy. Okay, so you notice there in that little recording, I'm going to do a playback right here. So here he is. He's going along. Constant velocity. Look at what he looks like. And then he speeds up a little bit, right? And then he stops, turns back around, and now he's going at constant velocity. And then he's going to turn around, and he's going to shoot like a rocket. Notice that he was getting faster and faster as he went over here. So as you go faster and faster, that change of your speed, that's acceleration, and that's what we want to graph right here. So let's take a look at this graph to begin with. I want to look at the put. Let's do the velocity. Let's I'm going to put the position out of here. Let's look at the velocity and compare that to the acceleration. So at first, um, he was going with this constant velocity. And when you've got that constant velocity, that means the velocity is not changing. It's staying constant. It might as well be zero. I mean, zero is still constant. Um, and so what you do is you see that, and you see that flat, that flat line, and you say, what's the change or what's the slope of that line? There is no slope. There is no change of that line. So the acceleration then, which is the measurement of how this changes, or... Yeah, it's the value of this change. That's zero. Now look at this little bump right here. At this bump right here, you see the acceleration has then changed. The acceleration is now a positive value. So that means that there is a change going on in this velocity. And then look at that. It's a slope. So that slope right there, whatever that slope is, I'm guessing, what, what, what was that? I forgot what that was. Let's go back here. Oh, four. So that means from here to here, the slope of this line was the rise was four and it went over one. Well, I didn't do that all that well. Up four over one. These scales are kind of, uh, they're a little bit different on this side than they are this side. So even though it looks like it's not four to one, it is four meters up and one second over. Uh, so here we go. We've got acceleration is four meters per second squared. And here, the slope here is going to be four. Uh, right. So then it drops down. Okay, and now he's going to go back with a constant velocity. So they show that in the graph by just a straight line down. This doesn't happen in real life because you have to slow down and turn around at some point. You can't just stop unless you hit a brick wall. Um, so he, you can't see it over here, but this guy is then turned around and now he's going backwards. And he's, you can see him, he looks like he's just going at a constant velocity. And he is. That constant velocity is negative 5 meters per second. And over here, the acceleration is 0 because he's not changing that velocity. The velocity is staying the same. So that should all make sense now. Okay, now here is where things get a little get a little freaky. <laughs> Let's see. Can we go up a little bit? No, we can't go up. Okay, that's that'll be fine. Um, right. So here, all of a sudden, he now has a huge acceleration, 30 meters per second squared. So that means every second he's changing his velocity by 30 meters per second. 
So that means he's gaining 30 meters per second velocity every second. That's pretty fast. And you can see that by this huge, like this huge slope right here. It goes up 30 and over one, up 30 and over one. So he goes up 30 meters per second and over one second. Um, yeah, so you can see that. And what he looks like he's doing is he's getting faster and faster and faster and faster. And that's exactly right. So he gets faster and faster and faster. Okay, so this is showing you what it looks like when you go from a velocity to acceleration. Um, if you look at the slope right here, the zero corresponds to the zero here. The positive slope right here corresponds to the positive slope here. The zero again, the zero slope means zero acceleration. And then the positive value right here means that there is a positive slope right here. Now, if I were to go negative slope, then this would just be a negative number right here. In this class, we're not going to go into um, anything besides a constant acceleration. So it's just going to be a single value. It's not going to be a, a, a slope of the acceleration. So let's, let's talk about um, going from one to the other and backwards again. So we're going to go from velocity. Let's start with, with the velocity. What you should think of when you're looking at velocity um, when you want to graph that acceleration. So what you want to think of, let's see here. When you're looking at the velocity, when you're looking at this, you want to think, what's the slope? Because the slope, the slope is the change of the velocity. When you then graph the acceleration, you're just graphing what the slope is doing at the different time points. So let's say that you go from this time point to this time point, and the velocity is, the slope is, let's say it's a, let's do positive here. Let's say it's like this. It is a, a straight line, okay? And that's all we're going to be dealing with in this class. Um, and then let's say that slope, let's just say that slope, we'll give it a value, even though there are, there are no numbers on these axes, let's just give it a value. Let's say that that is going up, um, it goes, the rise of this slope is, let's say it goes up six meters. And since this is velocity, it's gonna be going up six meters per second. That's the rise over. And then we have, it's going over, let's say that this is, I don't know, let's say that's like two seconds. So the slope for this line would then be three meters per second over one second, which equals three meters per second squared. And look at this, this is an acceleration. That's the units for acceleration. So over here, all we're doing is when we look at this same exact time point, you come back down over here, that same exact time point, you say, okay, between this time point and that time point, this thing is accelerating at three meters per second. That's what the value of that slope is. So we're gonna go to three meters, whatever that, I don't, ha again, I don't have the numbers here, but this is gonna be a, a horizontal line. And that line is going to be at three uh, meters per second squared, okay? Now let's say that this velocity all of a sudden switches and boom, we're gonna have a, a very sharp slope like downwards like this, okay? during this time span, okay? And then you say, okay, well, what's the slope now? What's the slope between this time point and that time point? So you take the slope again. You, you can do this by just taking two points in this line. And you say, okay, well, what's the slope? The slope, let's say here, we measure it and we say, okay, well, that, it, go down, it goes down. The rise here is a, uh, let's say it's a, it looks, I don't know. Let's say it's negative 12 meters per second because that's the value of all of these over here. The velocity is meters per second. Um, and over here, accelerations values, the units are meters per second squared. So it goes down 12 meters per second. And then again, it's going two seconds. So the slope is negative six meters per second per second. So that then equals negative six meters per second squared. And that is an acceleration. So now we go down over here, we, we then graph what that acceleration is, and it's just, well, that's just negative six. So you go down to negative six, this would be negative six over here, meters per second squared. And that's what, that's what you graph over here for your acceleration, okay? Now, if this is then a flat line, like lots of times in problems like this, it'll be a flat line, there'll be a flat line somewhere. 
that means that there is no slope. So what's the slope? It's zero. So that means that this acceleration down here is going to be zero. Now you can connect these lines if it makes you feel happy and sleep better at night, but you don't have to. I mean, it's just straight down at this point. There it goes. And that's gonna be our acceleration graphed from our velocity right there. Okay, so that's going from velocity to acceleration, but what about if you gotta go backwards? What if you gotta go from acceleration to velocity? Um, it gets a little tricky. So, let's try it. Um, let's just, what should we do? We should, uh, let's erase this. So I'll erase this right here. I think this will work. Oh, that's not gonna work, it's so slow. So slow. Don't worry, it'll get over soon. All right, we're racing, we're racing, we're racing, we're racing. Okay, now I'm gonna just erase everything right here, but I'm gonna keep the acceleration values. This is gonna seem a little funky. All right, so now we've got the acceleration and we wanna go backwards. You already know what the answer is going to be eventually here, but I just wanna, I wanna show you how we go from one to the other. I mean, we're gonna go from acceleration to velocity. So let's say you have acceleration now, and we wanna go from acceleration to velocity. Well, when you're looking at acceleration, um, and you wanna go to, back to velocity, so we, in this case we're going backwards to velocity. Let's get a different color here, it's a little too close. Ooh, that's a good color. Okay, so we're going back to velocity. So we're going from acceleration to velocity. You look at the acceleration and you think, okay, now this right here, whatever this value of acceleration, acceleration, excel, is the slope. So again, I'm, I'm phrasing this in terms of graphs. So I'm using words like slope instead of change of acceleration because if we start using the words slope, then it becomes less about describing um, terms that are new to us like acceleration and velocity. Instead, we're talking about a graph and converting one graph to another graph. So from here, we see, okay, this right here, this value from this time point to that time point, that value is three right here. So Excel is the slope of velocity. So I'm kind of just saying the same thing, but in reverse now. I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna change this acceleration into velocity. Well, I say, okay, well, it's a slope. So I need to make from this time point, it, you know, notice that I don't know where this velocity starts. It could start at any value. It could start down here, it could start up here, but I'm just gonna start at zero. Let's just assume it starts at zero. And now I know that the slope from this time point to that time point, the slope is going to be three up and one over. And I know that because I looked at this graph and it's three in, from this time point to that time point. So I know it's gonna be roughly like this. The slope is gonna be three up, one over, three up, one over, three up, one over, until we get to this point right here. All right, now at this point, I look at the slope again, um, what the slope is going to be from this graph down here, this acceleration graph. So from this graph down here, I see that, and I say, okay, that's a negative six meters per second squared. So that means that this value over here, the slope of from this time point to that time point, the slope is going to be negative six. So all I need to do is I need to make a line that has a slope of negative six. Uh, it's about like that. <laughs> all right, and then from here, this time point on, the slope, the, the acceleration says zero. So acceleration is the slope of the velocity. So from here, you see what the slope is going to be. So that means the velocity must, or the, the slope at this point must be zero. So from right on here, right from this point on, it's gonna be a flat line, okay?